Hello, hello. In today's video, I want to show you this uh, very cool program, Mini Tool Shadow Maker. Uh, this is a program that you can also get for free from a Mini Tool website. If you've never heard about this company, I've used a bunch of their programs uh, throughout uh, the last, I would say, five years, especially to partition my hard drive and recover data. Um, I don't know if, if you've heard about it. I've heard about this company from my friend who is a major computer guy in New York City. Uh, and he recommended this to me. And right now I'm going to try uh, to show you the features of uh, Shadow Maker. So Mini Tool Shadow Maker is a backup and recovery tool for any computer. You can see that this program works for Windows 7, 8 and 10. Uh, so you can do files backup and restore just like the pay version system backup restore disk and restore you can sync files which is very important for those that need uh, constant uh, syncing uh, you cannot do manage remote computers uh, some encryption uh, windows p uh, so those are the options that uh, require upgrade and normally you'd pay about six bucks per month but I think that for majority of users, if you're looking for a good backup program, this is the way to go. And this will uh, make sure that you're not going to lose any data. And I've used a couple of different programs for the past 20 years. Those that have good features, they are paid versions. So uh, those are the basic ones. They are better, in my opinion, than what Windows offers because we have... Uh, constant file sync which you cannot have uh, at least I can I couldn't figure it out with uh, Windows backups so let me show you how this works so uh, let's go to a backup and I'm not gonna do the whole disk and partition although you can do as you can see disk and partition you can choose which partition you want to do it will take me uh, a lot of time so I'm not gonna show you how this works but the, the coolest thing that I use the most is I want to, for example, uh, choose the backup of my documents. So I don't lose my documents just in case something goes wrong. And it did happen a couple of times throughout the past uh, couple of years. So I'm going to choose my documents. I'm going to go inside because I don't want to do backup of everything. Uh, so I'm going to choose to remove music, pictures and videos because I have those separately backed up. So I'm going to click OK. And now the program is going to work and find those folders and I'm going to set up a backup on my other hard drive and depending on how fast your hard drive is that's how fast you can go and do the with doing the backup so I'm gonna go to my 8 terabyte external Seagate and I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna click OK now we have options if you want to do sector by sector or regular backup, file size, compression, I'm going to click medium and a bunch of other stuff, passwords, I'm going to skip this. Uh, now, scheme, that's what I like. You can choose on. So we have full incremental and differential. I'm going to choose incremental so it's going to do the first full backup and then in increments is going to add uh, another backups. And schedule if you want to set it on I'm gonna do choose weekly this is fine and I'm gonna click OK okay so it's gonna have to choose Monday okay Monday okay and I'm gonna back it now boom so a couple of features of the mini tool shadow maker is you can do a clone of the, your disk total cloning of one disk to another disk you can do uh, manage remote computers so you can get uh, access to that program remotely. Uh, you can add a boot menu, which is very important if something goes wrong uh, on your computer and uh, your Windows is corrupted. You can add that boot menu to your startup sequence so it will boot from that program and then you're going to be able to uh, restore your computer. You can boot it from your USB hard drive or a flash drive or any other drive so this is a very important feature 
another very important feature that I've never used actually, but it is very interesting to me and I'm probably gonna use it soon when I'm gonna buy a new computer. It's called Universal Restore. It's right here, I haven't tried it, but it looks like if I want to move everything from my old computer to my new system, of course new system is not going to be exactly the same hardware, I can still restore my whole old system on my new computer without reinstalling all the programs and then uh, thousands of different files that I have installed on my old computer. So I'm going to try that pretty soon when I'm going to upgrade my computer. I'm not going to show you that today. Now after my backup is finished, we have uh, everything in green. Now we can check the log. Everything was successful. Perfect. Now, if you want to go and sync your source, which would be, for example, uh, let's say my documents again, and I'm going to choose my documents without my videos, pictures, and my music, and you can sync those also. I'm gonna choose mini tools and I'm gonna choose right here then everything is gonna be synced in the real time all the time okay so we can go and filter what files you want to uh, exclude and we can sync them now and then they're gonna be synced all the time to a different location now if you want to restore then even if you've moved uh, your files to a different location, you can click locate, everything is running, but if you've missed your uh, files and you displaced them somewhere, then you can click add backup and then you can find uh, uh, your files and put them right into this location. Now, if we go, actually, let me just go and stop this. Okay, now uh, let's go to tools. Now, what I would highly recommend if you want to use any backup program, click on the Media Builder and create uh, a startup disk uh, that will allow you to restart your computer just in case everything fails. It did happen to me once or twice when I had to use Recover Media. It really does help. Okay. Another feature that I like, if let's say uh, something went wrong and uh, you don't really want to recover entire disk. You just want a couple of files. You can mount your previous image or previous files, backups that you've created and this will mount it as an image uh, to your computer. Then you're going to be able to browse through all the files and copy and paste whatever you want without recovering or restoring the whole disk. So the program is super easy to use. You have basic features with the uh, free version. And if you need more comprehensive features, you have an option to upgrade. And I like the option that you can sync your files uh, constantly for those important folders that you need uh, backups on all the time. And I have everything ready on my external hard drive. And I feel safe that uh, if anything happens to my computer, I'm gonna be able to recover everything. If you have any questions, uh, you can always send me an email or ask directly. I mean, need tool guys that are really helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.